Hello, hello. Okay, so I fear I may be alone with this, but every time I go to the bathroom and I see this, I, I have a little bit of a crisis. Which button is the big flush? Which is the little flush? Now, I know what a lot of you are saying, and I completely disagree with you. I think the big button should be the little flush because that's the one you use more often. Regardless of this, there's an inherent ambiguity with the final function of a toilet. You've done your business, you just want to flush, you want to get out of there. Now, I really don't like ambiguity, but in the real world, it's not that much of a big deal. You can kind of feel and fiddle your way around the problems and you know, complete the task at hand. Now, any architects who've let this happen in your buildings, you should hang your head in shame. This is, anyway, some people would argue that labeling and iconography is the way to solve these ambiguities. And I suppose my response to that is, is you know, really, is that what we've come to? We have to label the flush on the toilet? You know, where's the feeling? Where's the thought behind that? I think uh, for another Father Ted reference, Father Ted never said a truer word when he said, you know how it is with Jack, you just want to get that stuff away as hard and as fast as possible. <laughs> and I mean, this is so true with the old chain. If you wanted to flush harder, you pulled harder, you pulled longer. You know, there was, there was an actual feeling there. There was some sort of intuition. Now, my mum, sorry, actually, <laughs> I'm jumping ahead. I'm a good in digital context. It's much more difficult to circumvent these problems. There isn't the opportunity there. Um, you can't fiddle or feel your way around. You've got to get it right first time. Now, my mum. My mum hated using computers. Like, just used to get, have a meltdown. She'd sit there and be like, I'm so stupid, I'm such an idiot. And I always said to her, you know, this, it's not your fault. And now she's got an iPad and an iPhone, and she can do more on these two devices than she ever could with a computer, even though she's supposed to be able to do more with a computer. And I think the main reason for this is that Apple's iOS is very good at defining clear paths on how to actually complete tasks. And when we're working with clients, we always try and push this idea of single actions on a screen. And they're really, really resistant to this. And I think the... Uh, next slide. There's a, a problem. We used to talk about the problem of feature creep. And I think there's a new problem, which is option creep. And that is presenting too many options to your users. Users don't want options. They want to know what they can do, and they want to know how they can do it. And it's up to us to make those decisions for them. I recently had a, a, a debate with someone on Twitter about the Guardian iPad app. And he said, oh, you know, you can't do this, and you can't do that, and you can't you know, Zoom and all this stuff. And I was like, it's irrelevant. The app does what it does very well. You can read news very nicely. And I respect the, des the decisions the designers made on that. Now, there's a big advantage to actually creating these clear ideas and clear paths for users. You can actually get them to do what you want. And I know a lot of people would argue that that's kind of sinister and bad, but I mean, it's not like we're trying to get support to annex Austria here. <laughs> so, I think as our interfaces become more used on touch devices, we need to consider touch, feel, and instinct much more uh, in our interfaces. For the first time ever, intuition is a valid reason for us to include something in an interface. And I think a really, really good example of this is children. If you look, um, when, we, when we were growing up, you know, digital devices, it was like driving a car. They were so difficult to use. I don't know if anyone's seen that video that's been going around lately of that kid trying to use the broken iPad. Um, for anyone who hasn't seen it, spoiler, it's not an iPad, it's a magazine. <laughs> now, you know, in, in the real world, in, in our digital devices, how do we not fall into the same traps that, you know, we have in the real world? And, and I would argue that there isn't really a place for the real world in the digital domain. The only thing from reality that we should be considering are users' abilities and their instincts. For all the great talk about Apple, they still do stuff like this. This is the latest version of a dress book from Mac OS. I mean, what is this? I want to move things around a screen. Like, this is, there's, no, there's no point of this. This is just really annoying. Anyway. Um, <laughs> And, you know, our role as designers, I don't want to say it's changing, it's a bit of a cliche, but it is. We are now defining entire products, entire systems, entire companies. Instagram and Twitter are very design-led. Instagram don't even have a proper website. Their app is how they, how they, you know, that's their main product. And I think we've got to keep this in mind because, you know, we've got to understand that complexity will fail. Um, you know, complexity is as bad as uselessness. How many, you know, how many of us have an application or a phone that we've only ever opened once and never looked at again? But conversely from this, simplicity will fail also. If users can't do anything meaningful with, their, with your application, it is by very definition useless. Um, excuse me for a second. <laughs> Um, so I think we have a new goal here, and the new goal here is, is clarity. And we've got to think about how a user gets from the start of a task to an end of a task. And you have to create the interfaces that these people can intuitively navigate. They should know where they are, and they should know where they're going next. And this is you know, our new goal when we're designing, designing interfaces. And finally, I would say this to you. I think we need to stop worrying about simplicity and stop worrying about complexity and just focus on clarity and getting that user from A to B on whatever interface that they're working on. 
Um, and finally, uh, I would say that I'm on Twitter, and if you think I'm talking a lot of rubbish, you can get me at my lovely horse, Simon Rand. Thank you. <laughs>